Hi, it's Nalini, and I'd like to talk to you today about making self-care a priority in this transition time that the world is going through. Now, what does that really mean? There's a lot of talk out there right now about self-care, and the ego will tend to take that to a very selfish place. It doesn't have to. True self-care comes from the heart, and it is a kindness and a a heartfeltness that we begin to learn to have for ourselves, for the beings that we are. And especially in the Western world, we're so hard on ourselves and we tend to go one way or the other with that. We go extreme or we overindulge or, you know, back and forth like ping pong balls. But there's a way to take care of ourselves that does actually have to do with something called breaking up routines. Now this is a shamanic practice. It's an energetic practice. Every tradition has it. They call it different things. But this has to do with leaving behind the belief systems, thought patterns, and habits of behavior that no longer serve us and that we might just run as those habits that they are. So an example. I was living in Santa Fe, New Mexico for a while. I was healing and not doing healing practices, but I actually needed physical healing. And so when I would go into town from where I lived, I would try to make my errand run very efficient. You know the kind. You do the loop. You make it feel efficient. You make as few stops as possible. You try and make sure that you don't back. You know, you make it really, really efficient. And that used to be a really fun game for me. It still is. But as I was learning, Source was putting me through a very rigorous training period. And I was learning to listen, like full body listening, to listen to what was needed in the moment. This is presence practice. It's being fully present. And then presence will move through us. It's not even showing us. It's moved through us with something that wants to be created or wants or needs to be done. And because it's moving through us, that will be of benefit to us. You know, we tend not to believe that, but it's true. So on this particular errand run, I had it mapped out in the usual way. And it was actually quite hard for me to spend a lot of time thinking at the time I had had a, a brain injury. And all of a sudden, or maybe not all of a sudden, I don't really remember, I felt this impulse, you know, this go here first. Now, when we have information come to us from source, it's not like an energy being sits down in front of us and with you know a notepad and says, okay, hello, I'm source or I'm your guardian angel and I'm going to speak to you now. This is not how it happens. They come through our hearts and our, and our minds. This is how the source of all things speaks to us. So there's this impulse, this energy of mm, go there first. And it made absolutely no sense. You know, it just made no sense to do that, but it was really strong. So as I got in the car very carefully and very carefully prepared to drive, it was still a little difficult. I had to really be focused, really be present to do this. So I did that errand first, and then I got the impulse, now go here. So, okay, so I did that. And then I got the impulse, now go here. And so I did that, and I kind of you know, made this odd pattern through the city, which I normally would not have done and would have thought, oh, this is, you know, inefficient and is going to take too much time. What happened was one of the places that I needed to go to, one of the shops, actually, I think it was the bank, had had something happen, some electrical or utility kind of thing, and they opened two hours later than usual. And St. Michael's, which is one of the main drags in Santa Fe, had had an accident and part was partly blocked and or closed for part of the time. Now, I did not know this. I don't listen to the radio when I'm driving. It's I had no idea. I was guided around what could have been obstacles. And even though I kind of made this odd you know, pattern through the city, I was actually able to complete every errand. I went into a store I normally would not have gone into and they had the exact thing I needed. And then I was home and safe and resting because those things really took a lot of effort at that time. 20 minutes earlier than I would have been had I done my really efficient loop. So 
there is a practical application. There's a very real benefit to breaking up our routines and listening to source. This is one of the fundamentals of self-care. So an exercise for this is on your next automatic pilot mission, <laughs> whatever that might be, whether it's a commute to work or this or that or the other thing, make a point. You just make a choice to maybe drive a different way, take a different road, or turn left at a corner instead of right, or just do something in a different way. What this does, even though it's not necessarily source directed in that moment, what this does is it shows your subconscious, you mean business. Like I really want to sh shake things up and to listen. Immediately, really immediately, very soon after, you will start to feel the guidance. It's as I said, it's not like anyone sits down in front of you with a manual, you know, this is not going to happen for the rest of the incarnation, but there is this impulse that starts to happen. The more we listen, the more we follow them, the more we realize that they move through us all the time. And then life becomes really efficient, much easier, has much more ease and grace and really, we become that embodiment of source that we are, that we each of us is in our own way. We each of us are in our own way. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Thank you.